So my tip here is choose a boat ramp with a wharf next to you and always choose the lane closest to the wharf. Before you launch or before you use the ramp, make sure you have a good look around, see whether it's dangerous or there's a drop off or anything like that that might cause a bit of dramas for you. If you've got an extra pair of hands like we have today with two skis going out, I can get my rope and I'll throw it off onto the wharf to my partner. Or if you're by yourself, you can throw it up on the wharf, tie it off, then push your ski off and it's already secured to the wharf. All right, first things first, safety off. That doesn't come off until we're in the water like we are now. So we'll take the safety off. Then I'll release the, the winch. Take the pressure off and slowly wind it down. It might roll forward. That's okay if it does. We are floating. Now once that's taken off, we can let it go. We have got our partner here. So now I can give the ski a nice little push and it'll just gently float off, hopefully. Now Brody's just gonna calmly walk up the end of the wharf there and tie it off. Now you're tying off, don't tie off tight to the wharf. You don't want your ski rubbing on the wharf the whole time. If we do have any fenders, we can put some fenders out, but tie it off so it's nice and gentle, out of harm's way. So here what you can do, you can use the pop-up cleats here, with one line, you can secure both ends of the, of the ski. And again, we don't want to do it too tight, so we want to give it a bit of, bit of, little bit of slack so it's not going to rub there the whole time. So if you've never used a cleat before, do one loop around the cleat, then three figure eights will hold that ski there perfectly. As we mentioned, two ways to, to launch. Rope on and off, or ride on and off. We've got two guys here today. You can do this on your own, but we're going to do the method with two guys. First thing we're going to do is start the ski. Even when you're unloading or loading the ski, make sure your lanyard is correctly fitted. First thing Brody's gonna do is we're gonna make sure that it's circulating water. Okay, you can see water circulating out the side there. It's now cooling the engine. Beautiful. The water up the back is not cooling the engine. That's only visual. So our engine's being cooled, we're good. Brody can tap it into forward gear for me now. So now the ski's gonna push onto the trailer for me while I unhitch. Again, same method. Safety chain off first. Then my winch. Now once the winch is off, I step away and I let him know it's all clear. He can now calmly activate reverse and back away nice and easy. Now when reversing, remember sometimes things can be opposite. So just take your time, get used to the way it works. When you're approaching the wharf like Brody is now, Come in nice and steady, so in and out of gear. So only at idle speed, tap forward, tap reverse, nice and easy. You can still steer it in reverse. Just gently, gently. Engine off, feet on the wharf. All right, before you leave the wharf, make sure that the engine is running before you actually let go of the wharf or someone's holding you. Next thing, if we drive forward and go away, you're guaranteed to hit the back of the ski on the wharf. What you'll do, you'll push yourself off and you'll back away, give yourself some room. So give me a bit of push. He's gonna use reverse. Reverse away. Plenty of room from the wharf. Now steer where you wanna go. You're not gonna hit the back of the ski. 